My name is Frankie Fredericks. I'm from Namibia. I'm currently the fastest man on this continent. And you're watching Echo for the World. Our planet is calling out for help. And companies are answering with environmental and sustainable development. Switzerland's co-op is spearheading a project to grow organic cotton in India. High fashion has always included the use of natural fabrics, and cotton has always been hugely popular. Popular among buyers, but not popular to the environment. The cotton farming and manufacturing process uses chemicals and dyes. People who work in the fields and in the manufacturing plants are exposed to health risks every day. But clothing retail companies now have the power to change that. They have the ability to be eco-responsible. Major companies must make commitments to social, ethical and environmental concerns. They have a responsibility and they should accept and act on that responsibility. Co-op is a retail company that has become the world's largest seller of organic cotton clothing. Their idea was to help get rid of harmful chemicals and unsustainable farming techniques and create an eco-sensible line of clothing that they could sell to their customers. There is a new you know, field of buyers and customers for such a type of product because nowadays more and more people are going for you know, organics and bios and this is now one of the requirements. It's called Natural Line and the story of its success begins in India. In India, cotton growing is a 3,000 year old tradition. But the residual effects of the Green Revolution are showing up in the forms of soil infertility, contaminated groundwater, and health problems. The use of harmful pesticides is seen as a way of life. Pesticides are a big problem. 50% of the farmers can't read, so the handling instructions aren't adhered to. Farmers apply excessive quantities and mix them with bare hands, which results in an increased number of illnesses. Conventional cotton is grown in monocultures. That means farmers don't rotate their crops. They just grow the same thing over and over again eventually using up all the nutrients that the cotton needs to grow. Once the soil is depleted, more fertilizer is needed and yields go down fast. Enter Organics. Co-op gets its natural line cotton from what originally started out as an experiment called BioRe in MyCal. Today, BioRe has now become the world's leading production community. Co-op finance their training school where they are taught new methods of farming. The services are in relation to advisory services, advising on soil fertility, advising on pest management. And this services also entails distribution of inputs because if the farmers do not have the organic inputs available in hand, and when there are pest problems, because we are working in a monoculture, we are working in an area where we have huge pest problems. Back on the field, farmers learned that by fermenting leaves in cow urine, an effective natural, non-toxic pesticide can be made. They use bug catcher devices that use scent to attract and catch bugs that would normally eat the plants. The farmers learned to rotate their crops. They benefit from a premium of up to 20% and a long-term purchase guarantee for the cotton. In the factory, Naturaline textiles are chlorine-free, bleached and dyed without toxic heavy metals. Even reusable steel wire instead of plastic strapping helps the environment. Consumers appreciate the soft fabrics and the good skin tolerance. The organic and fair cotton eventually makes its way to the designers and the production line. The new clothes are then delivered to the stores where the consumer makes the ultimate choice. Well, the Co-op Natural Line line is selling very well. 
So it seems that shoppers have made their choice and that natural fashion with a clear conscience is helping to weave a better fabric of society.